Hey, Mr. Clash here, and today I'm going to bring to you a video showing you how to deal with the clan castle, the enemy's clan castle at Town Hall 8, no matter if it's a dragon, witches, or wizards, or whatever's in the clan castle. If you're doing a hog attack, here is the easiest way to deal with it. You don't need poison, although you can bring poison if you want, and I'll show you how you can implement poison into the attack, but you don't have to use poison. And that is to bring two witches and one barbarian in your clan castle. And have a look at the uh, troop combination down below here. You'll see four barbarians, two archers, and six wizards, and 34 hogs. So he's using four hogs to get the lure, and in so doing, also destroying one point defense weapon. So that comes into play later on in the attack. And then dropping an archer to draw the clan castle over, and then two barbs for distraction, and then the clan castle deployment with one barb and two witches and what happens is the clan castle barb runs out first followed by the witches who then immediately spawn skeletons and then a couple of wizards on either side uh, to assist with the skeletons and the witches and the enemy clan castle will be no more so let's have a look at how the thing accomplishes that against a dragon so he's bringing in the hogs for the lure the dragons coming out now there was a double bomb there um, near that test uh, near the mortar that he was trying to trigger but that didn't work so well so okay he's triggered a skeleton trap and a dragon's come out of the clan castle so he's dropped the one archer on the left to draw the dragon over two barbs then his own cc the witches spawn the skeletons and then here he comes with a couple of these wizards of his own four wizards and the enemy dragon is toast very quickly he's then dropped his own barb king for uh, distraction to get his hogs in but we'll come up to that uh, in another video for now that is killing the dragon in the clan castle and we'll have a look at that in another base that he also attacked we'll go straight into the replay now this base obviously is not as max as the previous one but he's doing the same principle he's sending four hogs in to destroy a weapon to then go in and get the law now if this guy has a wizard and an archer and a dragon in the clan castle so there he's dropping his archer to draw the clan castle over just waiting for his barbs there we go one two barbs then his own clan castle and then a couple of wizards on either side and the dragon the archer the enemy wizard they're all history no poison needed even though he's got two poison spells and then here he is dropping his barbarian king as distraction again like i said we won't go into that video for the moment i'll cover that in a different sort of video so over we need to go now and i'll just uh magic of uh, youtube will splice straight to the other war okay here we are at the next attack and again we're bringing the same two witches and one barb in the clan castle you'll see that he's also bringing the same troop combination for the attack so yeah okay he's dropping in his four hogs at the bottom to get the lure and it looks like we've got some wizards coming out yeah we've got some wizards and an archer coming out so just dropping his own archer at the bottom of the base to draw them over two barbarians one two then the clan ca clan castle he only dropped one barbarian in that case then the clan castle witches and uh, he's dropped a poison spell on those wizards just to help a little bit and that's it the enemy clan castle is done and dusted okay now we'll go over to the next attack okay now here we are with the last uh replay of taking out enemy clan castles uh, no matter what they have with two witches and one barb and one barbarian in your own clan castle okay i'll just get the replay going here you'll notice again that the thing is bringing in 34 hogs six wizards two archers and four barbarians as his standard troop combination for the hog attacks that he is uh, maestro at so we've got the hogs going in here spring a spring trap so that's good so in the enemy clan castle it looks like he's got uh, some archers a wizard a witch and a balloon so this would normally 
mess up a lot of people trying to use poison spells and whatnot. So you'll notice that he's dropped the archer to draw them over, his own two barbarians, then he's dropped his own clanging castle with a couple of wizards to help get that process on the way. And there he's just dropped a poison spell. So the poison spell will help take care of the witch skellies and the wizard. And the witch itself a little bit is getting done by the poison spell. And now it's just a matter of battle of the witches. So your clan castle witches with the wizards battling the enemy clan castle witch. And of course you're bringing two witches and a wizard. So eventually they will just overpower her. He's not even paying attention to what's going on over there. Because he knows that once he's dropped his own clan castle with the two witches in it. That they will take care of the enemy's clan castle. So if you want to take care of any base, you know he did use poison on the last two attacks, but he did not need to, didn't need to, but he did just to help the process along, and he didn't use any poison at all with the dragon attack with when there was a dragon in the enemy CC. So if you want to take if you're a town all eight and you're going to do a hog attack and you need to take care of the enemy's clan castle. No matter what it is, if you bring two witches and one barbarian in your own clan castle and then deploy them with the aid of a couple of other wizards, then you will take out any other Town Hall 8 enemy clan castle, no matter the troop combination. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.